SOP, a very popular cognac. It's uh, about in every supermarket or liquor store you can find. The VSOP is their entry-level cognac. Many cognac houses like Hennessy start with a very special or VS. That means that it's aged in an oak barrel for about two to three years. The VSOP or very special old pale is aged from four to seven years in oak barrels. So uh, the VSOPs are aged longer they're typically more expensive and they typically taste a lot better. I really wouldn't wish a VS on anybody um, unless you plan on mixing it with Coke. They're very young, they're very harsh, a lot of alcohol, a lot of burn, and they're just very unpleasant. Uh, I, I appreciate that Remy Martin starts out at a VSOP because um, with all due respect to VSs, they're just a waste of time. So I'm going to give it a splash. I haven't had v, uh, Remy Martin VSOP for a while, but I really do uh, like Remy Martin. One thing to note about Remy Martin is that it's a fine champagne cognac, which means it's made from petit champagne and grand champagne grapes. You can only call your cognac fine champagne cognac if it's made from these two varieties. A lot of cognac houses do use many different kinds of grapes, but uh, fine champagne cognac is typically the best cognac. It has a lot more flavor, it typically ages longer, and um, again, it can only be made from Petit Champagne and Grand Champagne grapes. So I'm gonna give this a swirl here. I wanna coat the inside of the glass and clean the rim, so when I do pour my cognac, I can get a nice nose. <laughs> I started out drinking uh, Remy Martin VSOP when I first started drinking Konya, but I have not had it for a few years. There's a lot of alcohol. I can tell you that it still seems like a very young cognac. Underneath the alcohol, there are sweet aromas, there is fresh fruit, there's apples, there's citrus, there's lemon peels, apricots, um, there is a sweetness to it, almost like a caramel type um, flavor or nose that's coming from it which I believe is probably from an additive. Uh, many young cognacs like VSs or VSOPs uh, are pretty harsh and have a lot of alcohol, so they typically um, add caramel to the cognacs or sugar or water. Um, it is legal, but um, it is unfortunate. I'm gonna give it a taste. At first, I just like to wet my lips. Again, it's a very, very young cognac for a VSOP. It has to be aged for a minimum of four years in an oak barrel to be called VSOP. But I don't think there's a lot of uh, uh, older cognacs in this blend. I think it's mostly very young cognacs, maybe four to five years of age. Uh, once you get past the alcohol, you do get fresh apples. You do get a little bit of cinnamon. You do get spice. You do get those fresh fruits, white fruits, white grape, green apple. I'm 
you know, don't be afraid um, when you do pour cognac to let it breathe, swirl it around. You know, cognacs uh, tend to be um, literally bottled up and are confined in these bottles. So when you pour a glass and you let it open up, when you give it time, when you swirl it around, the cognac will kind of uh, come out of its shell and you'll get more flavor, more smells, more aromas and ultimately be able to enjoy it a little bit more. Definitely get a sweet, again, almost caramel type flavor here. And I think, unfortunately, um, there is a caramel color and flavoring added to this cognac. To smooth it out because it's very very young. I recently tried and reviewed the Remy Martin uh, 1738 which is a new cognac they just came out with and um, it kind of feels like most of the older barrels they have are going towards that addition and this has become more of their VS or very special because although it might be a tad smoother uh, this is definitely subpar for BSOP. It's, it's too young, it's too harsh, and it's, the notes and the, uh, the complexities of the O to V's are not rounded out. You don't have a smooth finish. And um, to be honest with you, it's uh, just not great. I would take it over a VS if, you, if it's the same price, if you're at the store and it's between this and Hennessy VS, I would probably take the Remy Martin VSOP. But um, I have to say there's a lot of great VSOPs out there. So I think uh, Remy Martin has great O to V. I think they have great Cognac. I think the issue is um, a lot of their stock is going towards their specialty bottles that cost a lot more money. and. I think that um, being one of the largest cognac houses, being that they have 30% of the market share, it's probably harder for them to age their cognacs and round them out. So um, as much as I, I hate to say it and I love Remy Martin, um, I really think that you should explore some of the uh, more independent, smaller cognac houses that are more unknown, more undervalued, because uh, you know, although Remy Martin built its brand on great entry-level cognac, uh, it's just no longer there. This is this is no longer a great uh, VSOP. It's just not. I'm sorry. That being said, I'm going to give it a grade. I gave it an 80 out of 100. I know it's a little harsh, but uh, I am disappointed in their um, VSOP. They have a 1738, which is about $50, about the same price as many uh, good VSOPs out there. And I think that one is great. I think the 1738 has age, has character, it's well balanced. It's uh, what I like to see from Remy Martin. So, um, you know, I'm not condemning Remy Martin entirely. Their XO is great, but I'm not a big fan of this VSOP anymore. I don't think that they put enough older O to V's or uh, cognac in the blends, if you will. It just seems a little too young for me. So that being said, uh, if you do have time, explore. There's uh, four big cognac houses, but there's also many smaller cognac houses. And a lot of them are underappreciated. They have great cognacs, and you'll definitely get a bigger bang for your buck. So thanks for joining me. Until next time, see you later. Sipping crystal, like so cognac king. He tastes so good to me, baby. Let me go.